Hey guys, welcome to the Game Feed. My name is Panto6, and today we're talking about this thing. Um, I was going through uh, Reddit yesterday. I think it was on the uh, RR Gaming, R um, R Gaming, and <laughs> I stumbled across this thing, and it really, really, really um, struck a chord. Now, I have not really talked about GamerGate. For the longest time, um, I stay out of it. It's just a mess. But this thing here is... I don't understand why somebody would do this. And I don't think anybody that's either for Gamergate would be for that too. Because... How... I don't know any games that are considered rape simulators. I don't understand. I mean, that's ridiculous and it's getting out of hand it really is it's getting out of hand and this stuff like this like people's going to see this and they're going to latch on to it um it's easy as that it's like just anything you throw out there people are going to latch onto that and it could be a soccer mom on her facebook is like oh uh, oh no my kids are playing rape simulators. Little Timmy, you cannot play video games anymore. Oh no. No, I, I have not played a video game that has rape as a centralized theme. They're not rape simulators. Um, if you consider, you know, I know um, <laughs> the game industry is dominated mainly for the longest time by males, male protagonists, but we had strong female characters. Um, some of them might be a little bit more voluptuous than others, but I think there's been quite a few awesome female leads. Um, but none of them has been raped that I know of. I have not seen a rape simulator ever. And this is why it ticks me off, because I don't know why somebody would put... I think, I think what it is, somebody wants to get attention because they know that if they post it out there, they're going to get as many hits as possible. A lot of people are going to see that. Then you know what? Fox News or some uh, big news corporation is going to see that. And it's going to be a big debacle. It's going to be huge. Just because shit like that. That's ridiculous. That's, I'm, that's almost as bad as Jack Thompson saying that uh, video games were murder simulators. Or whoever... <laughs> I forget the, uh, it wasn't a lawyer's congressman saying that Call of Duty was a terrorist simulator. And no, it was a, I think it was Medal of Honor. You start out, um, you're actually a part of one of the terrorist cells, and you're on board an airplane, and uh, it's a training mission. I don't know if you guys play, I, I forget what Medal of Honor that was. I think it was either the first, uh, it's whenever he rebooted the series. I don't think it's... Uh, Warfighter, I'm pretty sure it was the first one, but they had that level in there and said, oh, that's a terrorist simulation or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the infamous uh, no Russian thing. It was just, you know, you can skip it, but it was an integral part of the story. Um, I mean, that shit's in movies, so I mean, it's no different. I mean, I can watch Die Hard or Die Hard 2 and you have terrorists taking over um, a fucking building or airport or something like that, and nobody really raises a brow, but when a video game does it, it's, oh god, it's the worst fucking thing in the world! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't know how to really tackle this, because, uh, if you guys seen my, uh, Twitter, uh, yesterday, um, I, I have been having a lot of issues, uh, with stress and anxiety, which uh, I'll have, uh, I talked a little bit about last week on Let's Talk, and I'll have a new one up this week. Um, and I'm still really nervous right now, to the point where I'm shaking as I do this. Um, but it's something I'm working my, with my doctor with. But um, this really bothered me. This, this really fucking bothered me to the point where, you know, I was going to work on this. I did four takes yesterday on this this fucking picture this alone and I I don't understand why somebody would put it out there <laughs> um 
And I have kept my mouth shut about Gamergate for the longest time. I've been watching in the corner. I don't want anything to do with it. It's it's poison, um, in my opinion. You know, I don't care if you're for or against it. I'm tired of the whole Gamergate or gates in general. Um, it, it, it's ridiculous. And just shit like that is probably some feminazi. And I'm sorry, feminism's good. But just like anything else, there's a point where you go too extreme with it. And that's one of them. That's fucking one of them. Um, I mean, what, what's, ne what's, what's next? It's like, oh, protect your babies from ban all baby put in blender simulators. That's probably next. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the words to say it because it just pisses me off so bad. I don't know why it's making me so mad, but it is. It really is because... Anybody who's a gamer who sees something like that should have problems with it. I mean, really, if you're a Gamergate advocate or not, you would have a problem with that. I don't care if you're a feminine, feminist or not. Most people will know that's complete bullshit. Protect women. Ban all rape training devices. That's... I, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this, I mean, really. I'm going to rape you with my controller. Wonder I, I don't understand. <laughs> if somebody else understands, please let me know in the comments here. I, I just do not understand that. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I, in a way, I think, in my opinion, I think we've came, came a long way since the beginning of video games where we had these male, strong, centralized, buff men uh, running around with guns. We still have that, but we have, I think we have really great uh, characters like uh, the Mirror's Edge, uh, Tomb Raider, um, Beyond Two Souls, um, you name it. There's some really great female um, characters. Shit, even Princess Peach, even though she has been the Oh, I gotta save the princess, uh, Mario, but she's still a great character. Uh, I don't care how you look at it, there's great female characters. Um, if you want to attack anybody, fucking attack Disney or something. I, I don't know. Don't attack this. That There's no rape simulators. And I, I, I don't, I'm not saying attack Disney because I'm just thinking of something else to attack. Don't attack video games because there's no... I've not... I'd like to have a good example of a rape simulator. I mean, I'm sure they exist, but they do not exist in the market that we have. They might be some kind of deep web or some kind of uh, <laughs> simulation that's, you know, the Japanese schoolgirl simulations, but I don't play that shit. I'm sure it exists, but it's not a mainstream thing. It's an adult-only thing. I, I don't care. I mean, it's no different than porn. I'm sure that it exists and there's rape. Just blame porn. I, I don't know. Blame something else. Don't put that shit on the internet. Just to stir problems. You're making it worse. And I'm sorry, I don't I, I don't have the words to say it. And I not the best person in the world to be talking about it, but it really pisses me off. I don't understand why this is a thing. I just don't I just don't. I don't get it. It's it's fucking ridiculous and it needs to stop. Um, I, I mean, something needs to stop. I, I, don't, I don't care. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and hop off off here, <laughs> uh, before I, uh, bust a gasket or something or have a heart attack. I don't know. Um, but if you're pro gamer gates, I know you probably would not stand for that sign. And like I said, I've been watching both sides, and I can see, you know, the positives, and I can see the negatives on both sides. I'm not choosing sides for Gamergate. I won't do it. I don't care. Um, all I care about is gaming. At the end of the day, I just want to come home, sit down, play my favorite game, and that'd be the end of it.
I don't want there to be some controversy surrounding this or that. It's just my form of entertainment. I love, I've loved it since I was a kid, and I don't need any, uh, you know, some something to mess it up. I, you know, I don't want politics in my gaming. If, if I guess that's what I'm trying to get out, get to. But especially, I don't want to see that shit. Not at all. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't care. You know, your Zoe Quinn or Sarke Anita. I guess that's Anita Sarkeesian. I, I don't care. I don't care about those people. I, you know, it's good that there's people out there that want, you know, more rights. And, you know, the video game industry could use more diversity. I, I totally agree. I would love to see a strong female team create awesome games. I'd love to see that. Um, and I think that's something that's worth fighting for. But I think people that's against, that's on the outside, just to get attention, making that shit, it's not helping. It's not helping at all. It's not helping your It's making things look really, really, really fucking bad. Um, but all I'm saying is I hope that things get better. Whatever side you're on, I hope things get better. Um, you know, more females in games. That's cool. More gay people in games. That's cool. More blacks, more whites, more Asians, more whatever. That's all cool. There's nothing else that needs to be done. Nothing else. No more fucking arguing over this or that. Diversity is all we fucking need. That's it. Nothing else. Not that shit. No more. And I, you know, I have, I'm a very small channel. My word's not going to get out. But if it does, I don't want to be attacked. Because all I want is what everybody else wants. Diversity. I, wa I just want to have fucking fun whenever I play a video game without something ruining it. Politics. Whatever. Not that shit. At all. Ever. It's bad, it's poisonous, and does not need to be in here at all. I'm so sorry. Um, but other than that, guys, um, thanks for watching me bitch for about 12 minutes and 50 seconds. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry, my I can't get my words out the way I want to. Uh, hopefully, once... Um, I start seeing a psychiatrist more and uh, taking better medicine. Um, things will get better. Uh, if you're watching me on, seeing me on social networking, saying some weird stuff that I don't normally say, just, just you know, keep an eye out on it. I'll post a new episode of Let's Talk tomorrow. And hit like and subscribe. I love you guys. And thank you so much for the support. See you soon.